about one of the core subject of physical science that is mathematical method of physics for the preparation of KSET 2023 exam. So in that core subject mathematical method of physics I am going to explain about vector algebra and vector calculus. So before going to start if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for notification so that you will have the information regarding uh, the recent uploads on my youtube channel so you will get the information immediately so let us start uh, today's class so first we should know what are vectors and scalars we should differentiate them vector is a straight line segment going from one point to another represented by finite length which has direction as well as magnitude some of the examples for vectors are velocity acceleration force and momentum finite algebraic quantities which have magnitude but no direction are called scalar quantities so examples are mass, charge, density and temperature. So what are the uh, vector operations? So there are addition, subtraction and multiplication are the vector operations. So addition of vectors. How we can add two vectors? Let vector A B represent a vector with initial point A and terminal point B. So let another BC be drawn from initial point B to AB. So addition is commuted to we can add vector A plus B that is equal to vector B plus vector A. So addition is also associated to vector A plus vector B plus vector c is equal to vector a plus bracket of vector b plus vector c so subtraction of vectors a vec we can understand with this diagram a vector is said to be subtracted when it is added after reversal of its direction so you can see the direction for addition of vectors and you can see the direction of the vectors for subtraction of vector subtraction so vector a minus vector b is equal to vector a plus of minus vector b okay so multiplication by scalar multiplication of vector by positive scalar a uh, multiplies the magnitude but leaves the direction unchanged so only we can multiply with a number but the magnitude uh, leaves the direction unchanged so if vector a is in the same vector a and the magnitude that is 2 vector a that is also in the same direction so this we can just multiply with numbers but the direction is going to be same so scalar and vector products product of two vectors we can write uh, like dot product and cross product so what is dot product of two vectors vector a dot vector b we can write a b cos theta so if uh, theta is the angle between the two vectors vector a and b then that is uh, given by a b cos theta the scalar product is commutative vector a dot vector b is equal to vector b dot vector a and also distributive vector a dot vector b plus c is equal to a vector a dot vector b plus vector b dot vector a so if uh, both the vectors are same then we can uh, have the dot product but that is equal to square of uh, that vector a square if two vectors are perpendicular then dot product is going to be zero 
what about cross product if we have the vector a cross vector b then that is equal to ab sin theta unit vector n where n cap is the unit vector perpendicular to both the vectors a and vector b so vector product uh, is distributive like uh, cross product but it is not commutative okay we can see vector a cross b is equal to minus vector b cross vector a but that is not commutative if two vectors are parallel then cross product is going to be zero so similarly uh, we have triple product then we have to consider one more vector that is vector uh, a vector b and vector c so scalar triple product that is denoted by vector a dot vector b cross vector c that is equal to vector b dot vector c cross vector a okay similarly vector c dot vector a cross vector b so they are defined uh, in terms of matrices like um, ax ay az determinant of that bx by bz cx cy cz we can also write in a square bracket abc okay this is the dot product so they can be interchanged this dot product or cross product we can interchange uh, between these three vectors so what about vector triple product that is vector a cross vector b cross vector c so we have this formula vector b into vector a dot c minus vector c into vector a dot vector b so but they are not commutative we should remember this so what are the component uh, form of vector algebra so if we consider uh, arbitrary vector a which can be expanded in the cartesian coordinates uh, x y z that is given by this formula okay vector a is equal to ax i cap plus ay z cap plus az k cap so we can represent in terms of uh, the this diagram i j k are called unit vectors along the three coordinates so magnitude of vector a that is given by root of a along all uh, a along all the three coordinates so unit vector along vector a is given by a cap is equal to vector a by mod of vector a so what is a we have the formula and mod of a we can take root of that along three coordinates so position vector the location of the point in three dimension can be described by listing in cartesian coordinates the vector to that point from the origin that is called position vector that means we are going to draw the vector from the origin that is given by vector r deno it is denoted by vector r position vector along three coordinates with unit vectors so what about uh, these unit vectors uh, i dot i j dot j k dot k if we take dot product that is zero i dot j j dot k k dot i that is going to be one and uh, cross product of these similar unit vectors is going to be zero if you take cross product of different unit vectors i cross j j cross k k cross i that is equal to one so these formulas are very important to solve any problem you should remember all these formulas so if we take cross product of two vectors along with unit vectors we can represent in terms of determinant like this so you should remember this one gradient okay very important gradient of a scalar field 
the formula is given here del v is equal to i cap rho by rho x i cap rho by rho y plus i cap rho by rho z into v so what about del del we have along three coordinates i cap rho by rho x rho by rho y rho by rho z so the symbolical representation is given here del v divergence of vector is given by del dot v very important gradient and divergence equations are very important here so general properties of divergence we uh, you have to remember gradient is given by del v and divergence is del dot v general properties of divergence del dot into c vector a r that is given by c that is a constant c del dot a so like that you should remember all these formulas very important so if we take uh, dot product of del psi that is going to be del square psi and uh, del dot vector a if vector a is constant that is going to be zero curl of vector field so we usually denote it by del cross v that is curl then we can represent in terms of um, determinant so you, uh, you should remember very important curl line gradient are very important formulas so general properties of curl are given here so one of del cross del psi that is going to be curl of del psi is going to be zero and uh, del, del dot del cross a that is going to be zero so these sum of the formulas are very important if we take del cross f that is going to be zero that means vector f is called irrotational okay when it is irrotational del cross f equal to zero gauss divergence theorem as we know according to this theorem surface integral can be converted into volume integral okay so we can have this formula volume integral conversion we can have in terms of del dot f stokes theorem that represents um, the conversion of surface uh, uh, integral to line integral or line integral to surface integral that is given by del cross f okay these are the important formulas you should remember scalar and vectors uh, some of the uh, operation of vector operations addition subtraction multiplication and also um, scalar triple product uh, scalar and vector uh, triple product dot product cross product as well as gradient divergence and gauss divergence theorem stokes theorem okay if you know these formulas you can solve any problems that has been given on this topic so let us solve some problems if a force vector f is derivable from a potential function v of r where r is the distance from the origin to the coordinate system it follows that as uh, i have uh, discussed in the previous formulas they have given the option here del cross f equal to 0 del dot f equal to 0 del v equal to 0 del so obviously you can easily uh, go for uh, option 1 because always de f vector f is derivable from a potential function that is f equal to del v if you put in this that is going to be 0 so you can see in the solution f equal to minus del v so that is going to be 0 so second problem the unit vector normal to the surface x square plus y square minus z equal to 1 at point p 1 1 1 is 
so they have given the options here so let us uh, solve this the equation of the system is first we should note down we can have this formula if we take the del f formula we should uh, write here and uh, f is denoted by this uh, given surface x square plus y square minus z minus 1 equal to 0 if we put and differentiate then we will have del f so as according to the question unit vector normal to the surface so then uh, how we can write the unit vector at the point 1 1 1 that is del f by mod of del f so formulas are very important to solve any problem so try to remember finally we will get the result here so del f mod if you take just you should take the root of uh, the del f by substituting the values 1 1 1 so then you will have the de uh, denominator 3 unit vector perpendicular to surface x square plus y square plus z square equal to 3 at point is so uh, in the uh, if you understand previous one you can easily solve it just try this problem so equation uh, uh, yeah, then another problem direction of del f for a scalar field f is equal to at point 1 1 is so they have given the four options so first we should know what is del f f value they have given if we derive uh, or uh, take the derivative of f we will have this equation then unit vector n del f by mod del f if we take we will have final answer then option b is going to be correct so this is all about vector calculus and algebra so try to solve many problems on this topic related uh, so i hope this video is helpful for you so not only these problems uh, uh, try to solve the examples uh, that have been given in the test book so that uh, you can able to solve the problems easily and try to remember all the formulas so i hope you found this video helpful so if this video is helpful for you please subscribe my channel like and share my videos thank you for watching